Well, this morning, President Trump will get his first look at the devastation from Hurricane Irma right here in Florida. He is flying to Fort Myers in a few hours to meet with first responders and FEMA. ABC 7's Jess Dowdrick is in Fort Myers now, and she joins us now live. Hello, Jess. Good morning, Stephanie and Jacqueline. I'm live at the Southwest Florida International Airport in Fort Myers, where President Trump is expected to land in about an hour and a half, and he will not be alone. Vice President Mike Pence will be with him, along with First Lady Melania Trump. Their plans are to travel to Naples and to see the areas affected directly by Hurricane Irma. The trip comes just hours after President Trump expanded his major disaster declaration for Florida to include individual assistance for counties, including Soto and Hardy. Manatee and Sarasota already included in the plan. The money will reimburse local communities and the state government that are aiding in response and recovery after the storm. President Trump said in a tweet yesterday that they will be meeting with the Coast Guard, FEMA and first responders to observe the response to the damage. He will stop in Naples and in Fort Myers. There's a mixed feelings today about his visit to the area. I understand he's got to do it for political reasons. I understand this man is practicing to be a politician. We didn't elect him because he's a politician. We elected him to be not a politician. And if he's going to come down here and pick up a shovel, that would be great. We'd love to see you then, okay? But don't mess up the cleanup operation. <laughs> This will be a quick visit for, visit for the Trump administration. They're scheduled to land here around 1030 in Fort Myers, and then they will get back on the plane around 130 to head back to the White House. Reporting live in Fort Myers, Jess Daldrick, ABC7, your Suncoast News.